Is it a bird? No. Is it a fly? No, it's you who can learn how to fly in VR. Because that's exactly what this tutorial was about. And now I have uh, really exhausted all my acting skills. Anyway, in this tutorial you can really learn how to fly just where you aim your hand. You can stop in midair if you want. And that's about it, so let's get to that tutorial. Superman! Alright, so first of all we will be using Pawn that I have created in a previous tutorial about gravity, which you can watch somewhere here or in the description of course. And the difference is that in this Pawn you have already collisions, uh, VR origins set up a little bit differently and etc etc. Most of other things are just copied. But I would definitely recommend you to watch the tutorial before watching this one. So now let's get to flying actually. So we will start by going to Virtual Reality BP Blueprints and BP Motion Controller. We will program two ways of flying. First one will be where you will fly where you are looking at that time. And the other way will be when, where you are aiming your hand. A little bit similarly as it is in Echo Arena. Arena. However you spell it. Say it. <laughs> Alright, let's click on that BP Motion Controller. Right here, and you can see that there is already one arrow. We will need to add another one, so add component, arrow, and let's call it direction. Direction, and put it under hand mesh. You don't need to do it, uh, do anything else with it, just make sure that it's aiming uh, pretty much at the direction where you want your hands to be aiming. Close it, and now let's back to player, because that's the power we've created before. So click on it. And we will set it for grab. So if you will uh, press grab left button or grab right button, it will uh, fly in the direction where your where your hand is aiming at that time. So you won't be able to grab that. But you can just create new input actions if you want to grab things. So first of all, we will dis put away this grab actor stuff, and then we will right, right click and add here event tick. After event tick, let's uh, first of all add sequence, and from then zero, let's add add movement input. Target set to self, and word direction will be set to left one, which means that we will take this left controller, get it, and take from it direction, which should be that arrow. Uh, get uh, direction, right? This one. And from that we will take its forward vector. So get forward vector and connect it right here. All right, compile and oh, I almost forgot we actually need to add here um, branch because uh, like this it would always fly, which we don't want. So let's put here branch. And if it's true, it will do it. If it's not, then you know what will happen. And we will create new variable boolean and let's call it fly underscore left okay put it here to set and once you will press it it will set it to true and once you will release it it will set it to false again all right compile and of course put it right here Right, and if we started it right now, it would probably just fall around sort of weirdly because uh, with that high gravity, we wouldn't be able to use to go in uh, up vector, which is what we are looking mostly, of course, for. And for that, we will go into default land movement and set it to flying, and as well as default water movement on flying, just to be sure. You probably don't need to second uh, set the second one, but it's better like this because you know, just like that. Now compile it, make sure that you have involved settings set your default pawn and test it in VR. Alright, first of all if you if I click grab on this button nothing will happen, but if I will do it with this one, you can see that I will start flying at any direction I just want. Just where I'm aiming it. It's a really simple trick, but it actually looks quite impressive. Just be really aware of motion sickness once you are designing something like that. It can turn really ugly. You can of course increase speed and do anything like that, as you can see, because we have basic collisions, physics works, so you can do whatever you want. First of all, let's set same thing for right hand. Uh, move it all up and just copy it. Uh, you don't need to copy left controller. Do, and we'll set it to this right controller. 
and put here just another boolean. Alright, that's all set up, so you can fly with both hands right now, but let's say that you want to fly faster. So for that we will go back to character movement and go in movement, flying, which should be somewhere here, right here. And you can see that max fly speed is set to 600. So you can set it to, let's say, 1000 if you want to go really fast. Or what you can do is to program it that after you press teleport, yeah, let's do it with teleport left, which means A in the, oh, just this button or the pressing thumbstick in Oculus Quest uh, controller. You can set it to or something really fast. So we will take that character movement and set max fly speed. Is that the one? It's always better to check it. All right. Da -da -da. Max max fly speed. Yep, that's the one. And you can see that it's set to 1000. So set it uh, by, I don't know, you know what, let's do it. Let's do it like this. If you press it, I will set it to 2000. And if you release it back to 1000, that should give you that should give you instant boost. All right, compile and test it. Okay, now you can see that where I aimed at hand or one of them, if I can fly there, which is kind of cool. And now I can increase that speed. So I will press the I will move and press the teleport button and you can see how much faster I'm actually moving now. Yeah, it's fine. So let's program two more things. First of all, let's say that you don't want to fly where you are aiming your hand. For example, with Oculus Go, it could go kind of awry. So we will set it to camera, which is actually super simple. Let's just uh, take this camera from player and set here to get forward vector and set it right here so if you will press the fly left which means left grab button it will fly just where you are looking so now when i press it i fly exactly where i look so i will have to look there and other hand i can still use other hands to fly somewhere else you see it can be actually pretty good for some simple game if you just want to move forward and rotate a little size something like that that can look pretty impressive i actually want to leave it with left control i, actually, I think it looks better and it's much more uh, superman like so the last thing we will do is to actually disable even this teleport left oh no we actually we already have teleport left my bad we will change it for teleport right right there it's set to something we don't really care about so let's set it to stopping uh, your movement in the midair let's say that you fly somewhere and you want to stop and look at whatever so that will let you stop any physics movement that you ha already have so we will set it to simply stop movement immediately and it will just stop you in the air all right you can see it now i'm flying let's add turbo and fly somewhere like this and if i press it now you can see that i stopped immediately something like that but just really be careful because this can cause some really hardcore motion sickness so now you can fly freely in vr as you want and one more thing is that you can join the discord server or if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to help me in some way you can press the like button or support me on patreon or if you want uh, project files for this you can also get them on patreon or just join the community on community on Discord. And now I'm just repeating myself, so I will just click that video and with uh, self and say out.